It's Monday, November 2nd. Time for Battle for the Booster Box game. How does this game work? I'm about to crack open a booster box after the start of the Battle for Zendikar Pro Tour. It's been just under a month since my last booster box game, which was also for Battle for Zendikar. Many players feel prices will have gone up now that people know which cards are used in standard constructed and which cards are not. As always, I will try and get $100 worth of rares and mythics, which I can then sell to buy another box. I'll continue doing this until I open a box that is not worth $100. It's the booster box game again. Let's begin. Unless a card is worth at least $3, it's just not worth it to sell because of shipping costs and other fees such as eBay fees. All prices for cards under $3 are just the TCG player pricing. Thank you. 
All right, so we made it a little above $100 here, but again, shipping on these items is about $250 per package going out due to eBay fees being so high. And also, on any of these $10 cards, you have to have delivery confirmation, or else you're just subject to people stealing your cards. So as of now, I was able to trade these cards essentially for $100, which is what I paid for the box. So as of now, I could quit and have all of the commons, uncommons, and remaining rares essentially free. But that wouldn't be any fun. It's the booster box game. Come on, let's play another round. It's Wednesday, November 4th. All cards have been sold. I drive down to the post office, mail off the cards, and then down to my local game store where I have bought box number two. Oh man, that is some beautiful art on the Expedition. Now I'm not adding the Expedition $70 to the box total because I really want to see if I could have made it to box three without this Expedition. And if I can make it to box three without selling the Expedition, well, I'd like to know that I have that option. But you can mentally add $70 to the bottom here.
Okay, close but not. So I'm gonna do the really simple thing here, which is sell Gideon and the Expedition. I feel both are gonna drop in value anyway. Gideon for sure. Ladies and gentlemen, if you've got Gideons and you're not using him, sell him. He's going nowhere but down. The Expeditions, I genuinely don't know. I'm not a finance guy, but I'm comfortable selling this and going for box number three. How long are we going to go? As of this point, it is Friday, November 6th. Whether I make it to a fourth box or not, this video ends after this box. So looking at the end time isn't gonna tell you anything. I wanna have this video published Saturday morning, so if I make it to a fourth box, then you will get a part two in a separate video. And if I don't, then we are at an end. Worst box ever. I do not play the booster box game to show you what fun it is. I'm glad if you enjoy watching me inevitably lose, but I play this game so you will see just how many cards you get in a booster box that are simply not worth it. If you are not drafting, do not buy a booster box. You cannot build standard decks from a booster box, and you likely will not be lucky enough to even get what you spent for the box. Buy the singles you need for building constructed decks. Remember, I waste my money so you don't have to.